y'all seen me in some of the comments talking about my GT Aggressor Pro. I thought I'd do a video, show you what my upgrades are so far. Uh, first and foremost, best upgrade, these guys right here. It's got the Maxxis Aggressor 2.5s, fit perfectly in the stock forks, perfectly back there. Zero rub, absolutely just grippy as can be. I fly down the trails, there's a lot of loose stuff on hard rock that, that I ride on most of the trails I'm on. Um, second upgrade that was essential for me, race face for spawn neck. Uh, my arms are short. That bar was way out here before. That brought it back in more into my range. I love that. I hear a lot of people talk about replacing the bars. These actually seem pretty good to me. I don't think I would benefit from replacing the bars, so I left them. But I did get these race face grippler grips. These things are amazing. You, uh, you're your hands not coming off of them unless you want them to, and even then, I mean, it's, they're actually even almost a little sticky. Love them. Um, what else we got? Oh, the race face Chester pedals, uh, the blue matching, getting everything looking good here. Yeah, yeah, those are nice. Uh, my feet were slipping off and actually almost immediately breaking the plastic knobs off the stock GT pedals, uh, and so I knew that had to be replaced. These things. You feel like Velcro, yeah, your foot's not coming off of them. Uh, a lot of people talk about chain drops. I've ridden the bejesus out of this bike. It hadn't come off on me once. Uh, I'm really happy with the gearing. I mostly leave the, uh, the front one in the center sprocket, but uh, it gets all the range I need. I'm not really interested in changing that out at all. I uh, got me a little, uh, this is a wild man uh, bottle cage. It was six bucks on eBay, I think, and... Uh, and I did get a frame pump, it's just a Walmart one, but it'll double extend, does quite a large uh, volume of air, and uh, I jump, it stays on there, yeah, it's got a gauge and everything, and, but this is my last thing left to do on my upgrade, these forks do have to go, I've, as I've started riding more aggressively, they're bottoming out on me, and uh, that's where I want you guys to tell me, what do you recommend, what forks work best on the GT. I've looked into the rock shocks. I've looked to see if Fox has any straight tube. Um, thought about doing the trade-in program with Suntour. Uh, Y'all's recommendations, that's that's what I would like to know. Uh, that's where I get a lot of my stuff from. Uh, shout out to Wolf Dick. Um, he's one of the guys that uh, I wasn't sure how big to go on my tire, but he said 2.8 was just starting to rub. So. I thought 2.5 would, would be a good spot. And in fact, if you look down at the back tire back here, plenty of clearance there. It's a little tight down there. I don't know that I would go any wider than a 2.5. Uh, you might pull a 2.6 off, but any flex, I think you'd be rubbing. Uh, no rub with these uh, at whatsoever. Um, no matter what I've done, jumping, just grinding it out, no rub at all. That's my bike. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, let me know what y'all's recommendations are on forks, and we'll see what I go with, and I'll post a video. Appreciate it.